Hi, and welcome to this episode of Adtastic. I'm your host, Tony Stanall, and today we welcome Paul Flowers, the president of Circa 46. Welcome, Paul. Uh, thank you very much. I have a pleasure to be here. Now, your agency has a very specific target and focus. Uh, why don't you tell us a little about that? Uh, sure. I, this all came about probably 10 years ago where it first started. Uh, Circa 46 is the uh, is a subsidiary of a larger independent advertising agency in, uh, in Texas called uh, Slingshot. And uh, what we were seeing was that, that uh, uh, there is a, a demographic uh, move to seniors, which everybody kind of pays lip service to, but nobody really, uh, really has addressed. Uh, 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 Americans are turning 75 at a rate of 10,000 a day. And that's going to continue for maybe the next 10 years. And uh, the, uh, uh, the, 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 what's greatly overlooked about them is is this cohort uh, represents uh, uh, about 75, 70%, I'm sorry, 70% of, of all the net wealth in, uh, in America and about 50% of all consumer spending. Yet, uh, according to A.C. Nielsen, uh, only about 10% of marketing messages are directed to the senior cohort. So uh, we felt like there was a huge opportunity that, uh, that not many people were looking into. And so we spent took the time to, to begin to understand this market and what drives them and, and, and how to reach them. I should also add that the name Circa 46, uh, because people always ask, uh, uh, we came up with that name because 1946 was the year the first baby boomers were born. So uh, uh, we're all about uh, those people who were born around 1946, I guess. So, and how would you define senior for your targeting purposes? You know, we we would say anybody. Uh, we we say sixty five plus, but really, I think we're talking the seventy five plus group is is that uh, is the ones that we really focus the most on. Uh, the sixty as as you get younger, the younger boomers really don't think that they're they've changed any, so they they are probably not as as great a, uh, as receptive to to what we do as as those who are a little bit older than that. Yeah, I had I had no idea that the economic impact and, and buying power, consumer power of uh, of, of that uh, cohort group is uh, is so powerful. Yeah, uh, apparently a lot of other people didn't didn't realize that either, or don't realize that either. So, what are some of the mistakes or missteps that, uh, that marketers take or aren't doing enough of? You know, it's it's. Uh, for our, at least for our point of view, uh, goes back about 80 years, and that's to the uh, uh, to, to to Abraham Maslow's Maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs, uh, which I'm sure you remember that, that basically there are, he's got this pyramid with five five basic uh, tiers of needs. The more base ones at the bottom, which were the physiological needs, uh, followed by the uh, needs for safety and 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 uh, uh, security and then the higher needs, which are are, are love, esteem, and, and self actualization. The uh, uh, what we have observed is that most advertising uh, toward that's targeting the senior cohort focuses on those those more base needs. The uh, the uh, the that that we we like to refer to as 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 uh, uh, support uh, uh, support of the the uh, the the needs of aging. However, we are the the opinion that uh, that it's the higher it's the higher needs that uh, that that seniors really want. They don't want to uh, uh, be put on put on a shelf. They to live out their life comfortably. They want to thrive. And so, what we do is we focus on those higher needs. We feel like that they tug on the heartstrings much better than than uh, than the lower needs. Gotcha. Well, I, I think that's a very interesting focus you have there, and. Uh, I, I don't know of any other organization that's uh, that's that, that's targeting uh, so sharply the, the senior market. So thanks for sharing that today, Paul. Well, thank you. And thank you for joining us on this episode of Adtastic. To find out more about Paul Flowers, go to dailyadbrief.com. 
We'll see you next time. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.